Hey, orange one here, and we are going to be trying to get ourselves a little bit more secured, maybe a little bit more outward into the prison. Um, I think what we need to really do is deal with, yeah, the immediate problem of there being some zombies that are up and around here. Because you know there's probably some... Um, just around the corner. There's two right there. Probably more around, you know. Okay, this looks fairly clear right now. Okay, there's the zombie cop. Okay, so the zombie cop, I think I actually want to just kill. Can I take it out? I think I can. Um, not with a slingshot though. Let's not try and fight it with the slingshot. Um, I need some sort of proper melee weapon. There might be something up here. What is this? No, not really. Okay, that's a shame. Can I push that out of the way? Yes. Cool. Um, that will do. Yeah, we'll we'll deal with that. Where are you, zombie cop? Okay, you're on that. Okay, I think that I can do this. There we go. Okay, he's grabbing. I don't like that, but I think that we got. Him. There we go. That's what I thought. Okay, zombie cop. Um. Oh. Look, a gun. We got a gun. And a radio. That's awesome. That's like seriously awesome. Um. Just drop that. And I am going to say that we just. Uh, take that as well. No, I can't. Okay, never mind. All right, let's get our. Where, was, where did we drop our backpack? There we go. It's down there. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and get that back on, and let's see if we can get these heating elements that we've been trying to go after for a while now. If I try and uh, I need a screwdriver. Where was that? Oh, I think I know. I think I remember. I, it wasn't too long ago I was playing this. Um, not here, is it? Yeah, it is. Cool. Awesome. Uh, go ahead and put that back on. I guess take that as well. Yeah, I, I really should rearrange some of our things so that we don't drop them. Can I make sure that these things are not dropped. Maybe that. And that. I'd really like it if we didn't drop these things either. If it can be avoided. Let's just drag that in there. And then I'm going to hope that this is going to be a little peaceful project for us. Um, I think it will. Okay, it's too dark to deconstruct. Turn that on. I don't think anything should see me doing that. Actually, hold on. Turn that off. Grab that. And then put that there. And let's go like that. Now we should be in dark, right? Deconstruct that. Let's get these heating elements. Oh, we're gonna be frost name is fine. Um, that's good. Oh, cool. Two of those. That's also gonna be a good crafting thing for us. Cool. I I can work with that. Let's move the other way. It sounds like something is kind of up there. It's not. 
actually an issue for us quite yet. So I think that we'll do something like this and then you construct that. I know it's kind of silly for me to be cornering myself like this, but it's also very cold. So that is also a little silly. Um, we got three heating elements from that. If I wanted to do a hot plate, where's the hot plate? Oh, I need one more. Okay. That means that I, I should disassemble things for copper. <laughs> Essentially. Um, can I turn that off? just don't want to be diving out into something where I can't really see them, but they can see me, you know? Okay, there's a prisoner zombie there. Why don't you go on that nail board? Yeah, so I thought. It should get hurt by the nail boards enough for me to not really have to fight it. Kind of like what we've done in the past, you know? Come here. There you go. Oh, there's actually two of them. I see how this is. Okay, well, we probably want to be a little bit smart about how we engage them. Let's run up and over. And then they're still going to be kind of chasing. Good, that's fine. Right where I want you to be. That one is kind of a tough one, though. Oh, actually, hold on. Run. I'm very cold right now. That's gonna be an issue. Oh no. Um. This is the spike board here. At least step on the spike board for me, please. Thank you. Oh, there's another one there. Oh man. Okay, this could be tricky. I would like to get back down there, but it's not going to really make it easy for me to do that. <clears throat> oh man, okay. Run up. We're going to have to get out of here. What do we have there? Adderall. So here's where I could try and make a move. I don't think it would be super smart to try go for it. But I'm also not sure. There's no train that would support my weight. Ah, dang it. But can I run away from these guys? Get away from them? I kind of can. Not really. Ah. This guy's gonna keep on chasing me, isn't he? Please turn the corner without him seeing me. I might have gone away. You gotta be careful though. Could easily get caught right now. In a bad situation. I think we're okay. I have gone away from. out there but you know we can most likely kill them pretty safely and I think I am gonna get my slingshot out for it I don't know where exactly they are and I grab that and go like that the prisoner zombie Let's do this. Does it hurt? Oh, it's the one that's basically dead. 
Wait, what? It's not loaded. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> uh, wheel... Hmm... What could I use as a decent weapon? I know wrench has got nine on it. Hammer. Go with the wrench. I just drop that. Oop. Ow. There we go. What did you draw? Good Trapper's Life. That's actually a good book. Um, hold on. Oh, this one's actually in... This doing just fine. Oh, they grab me. Okay, good. They both down. Nice. Okay. Good, good, good. We are... We're doing alright. So... Now what do I want to do? I kind of feel like I should get like more bandages and heal up a little bit. Um, there's also a possibility of getting... I don't know. Um, what was that? Also get that and that, please. Sure, I guess we're gonna walk around with our gun. Because why not? I don't know. There's actually a couple of them out and about, it looks like. I'm curious if, if I can get into this other little room that's off the side here. Can we try and lockpick in here? Nope. Not gonna work. We can try. We can break them all. I feel like we should go underground. Yeah, this is proving to be futile. Oh, something's trying to, has like, sniffed me out or something. Oop. I think something killed something else there. I'm not sure exactly what, but I'm a little bit worried. Also, we're chilly. I think we might be moving a little slower. 5 a.m. in game. Um, that door is basically bashed open. Interesting. Flash problematic. Why is this one just dead here? Okay. Cool. I'll take it, you know. Not sure exactly how it happened, but I'll definitely take it. I think that there's... Yeah. A little spike trap there for you. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. Oh no, he didn't. He didn't go for it. Um, I think I'm gonna just try and get out of town. Honestly, see if we can just move around. And can I go in here? Yeah, I can. What What is in here? We haven't actually gotten a chance to really look in here. Uh, like, fun books. Okay. Art of Bunting. <laughs> yeah. Like a bunch of fun little books. Um, nothing that's gonna give me heat, though. A heating element, right? That laundry thing light that's in there is the thing. Um, yeah. I had that thing that had a decent bash on it, the wrench, yeah. Can we get in there please, thank you. Yeah, these things, if I can disassemble one of them without being disturbed, that would be fantastic. Um, can I pick that up? Yeah, I think if I try and get light, um, I do like a light here, something's gonna see me. Can I grab that? I can. And I can do like... 
something kind of like that. I just want to make sure that nothing is seeing light that doesn't need to, you know. Okay, let's do that. We're not smashing. We're turning on our flashlight like that. And then we're going to disassemble you. And hopefully nothing gets attracted. Um, here we go, some copper wire. Is that not going to give me what I need? And the rubber hose is pretty good. Got also some good sh like shirts. I should probably equip that, honestly. Um, what if we did look at this? Like a little bit more copper wire, but it's going to take 20 minutes. I think that will take it, though. No, we can't. Hold on. I guess we're gonna take another one of these things. What is this right here? It's just a blanket on the floor. Can I grab that? And we'll do like a similar thing. I think that we'll just kinda keep on deconstructing in our little corner. And that should give us enough copper wire to make ooh actually we've got tons of heating elements there that's that's perfect no I, I would rather not um let's draw you there's a lot of stuff I'm carrying that I don't really need you know there's also a lot of it that I would like okay so if we're looking at our crafting hot plate. We actually need a fire circuit. Let's, let's go back downstairs. Let's do that crafting down there. Right? If it lets me. If it lets me get down there. I think there's a couple zombies we might have to dodge. I think that we got it. We're okay. There's one. Looks like right there. A couple of them, or maybe I think it's just one. Okay. Looks to me like we're safe and sound back in our base. Cool. And voila. Right? <laughs> we are back. And we can now make a, whatchamacallit, a hot plate. Wait, where's my heating elements? Can I grab like a ton of them? Oh no. Okay, we're gonna have to dump a ton of stuff here. Okay, we're just gonna have this be our like our base of operations. We're gonna have everything that's not like that needs to be coming with us down here for now. Just for now, at least. You know? It'll just make things a lot easier if we have essential operations thing like this and then we'll be able to run around a little bit better as well yeah, let's do like basically all of this um, I think that we can actually disassemble that motor and I kind of want to do that just because we have so many of them up there where was it? it was 20 minutes wasn't it? yeah there we go Wait, no, that won't give me a heating element. We got, let's just go upstairs and get that heating element. I have them. I just need to get it. And it's not like it's particularly difficult for me to get it. I just need to uh, dodge this dude that's, like, trapped in there. See ya. <laughs> Okay, and now, oh, it's actually starting to be day, so we gotta start being a little, little bit more cautious. There they are. There, we'll take that. Take that as well. Steel mesh, I don't know what that would be used for, but... 
I am curious about maybe switching out our shirt or something. Dress. Go ahead, drop that, and then we'll put on right shirt. Yeah, we'll do something like that. Cool. Alright, we probably want to get back. We can. Those two are going to be an issue. Run. And get in here. Yeah. They might follow us. They might not. Honestly, I don't really mind either way. Because I think we can handle two zombies at this point. The only problem is, is that we haven't really got antibiotics. So I would be concerned about an infection. I think, though, there's... There's gotta be something in here in this lab. There absolutely, you know, has to be somewhere. We got ourselves a hot plate. Took a little while. Um, sure, do the one that on person resources always. Yay, we have a hot plate, right? Um, and then the hot plate, I think we can then use that for a chemistry set, maybe? Yeah, we can use a basic chemistry set and that... Oh, this is awesome. We have a proper chemistry set. <laughs> That's incredible. So if I wanted to do, like, actual chemistry, we could do that. And we don't really need to do that, but, you know, you get the idea is that it's kind of nice that we have a proper chemistry set. Right there. And then we can actually also use that to heat up things. We need a, a compatible battery. There's gotta be batteries that I have around here somewhere. Heavy battery. Isn't that what this takes? The chemistry set? Eh, guess not. It's a medium. Uh, okay. Hmm. We could always get an adapter or something. I'm sure there's a medium battery around here somewhere. Well, that's that's the problem that I did not foresee. Yeah, we can't make the batteries yet. We don't have the crafting stuff. Okay. I think I'm going to just take a minute, though, and just heal ourselves up. Where did those go? There we go. Yeah, it's just... Uh, you know, we don't do enough of this uh, this type of stuff in the game. I, I need to do that. They've kind of changed. I've heard that um, the healing so that if you want to heal, you really do need to use these types of items. It's not going to just happen passively. It used to do, like, overnight. Like, your character would heal mostly just from sleeping. Now you actually have to do first aid. Which I don't know if that's actually realistic. Because, <clears throat> I mean... First aid will stop you from getting infected. It won't make you heal faster, though, you know? Whatever. I know I'm arguing about realism with cataclysm. I know. I understand. Okay, we're kind of full. Maybe we could do a little reading. Outdoor adventures, maybe that would give us some good... Ooh, we got a lot of, lot of ingredients. There's some tea. Um... Or bullets and stuff. A stove. No, we don't have the right crafting for it. Why don't we just um, try and get our survival up a little bit more? So our pain goes away. Maybe a little bit more of the pain goes away. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe once our survival. I think that that's we're probably good at this point to go back up and out for a little adventure, don't you? Put some other stuff down and like you know, I think that we should be traveling pretty light right now. We'll carry that fire uh, starter though. That is definitely something I want to have. You know, in case we got cauterize something. <laughs> Yeah, stuff right. Maybe we'll keep a couple rags as well. 
Oh man, we did want to inject those things, but we don't have a good way of doing that right now. Okay. We'll leave that there for now. We still don't have a syringe, do we? No, not there, at least. You know what we really should do? Is that we really should try and um, clear out that auto dock station again. I know there's like enemies that were like in here. Hello, prisoner zombie. Why don't you come on out, right? Let's have you come here. Okay, um, I'm gonna try and run away from you. And close on you. Haha! -ha. Success. I'm gonna just then come down here and read a little bit, and he should die. Right? That's what I think I've found. That works pretty well. It seems to me that the survival thing goes up much faster than the other ones have been. So I'm going through that right now. Okay, go ahead and stop reading and see if that was enough. Can I hear anything? Nah, who's that? See what I mean? Oh my gosh. Alright, well, we got some medicine. Can't you make like some medical supplies from that? I'm pretty sure you can. Hello. Hello, friend. Why don't you come actually hold on. Give me a minute. Just in case this goes south. Um, I don't need that out. Uh where where is my melee weapons? That's got eleven bash. It's actually got the best bash of anything. It's my messed up gun. I don't want to mess it up more though. Let's just let's just use our, our wrench for now. It's it's been handy dandy. A little tool for us so far. Take a step on that. And then just run away and stop running now. I think that that's probably mostly cleared out. You know, it's funny that I like spent so long trapping those guys in there and now I'm like trying to untrap them. I, I thought that we were just trying to get out of here and now I'm thinking, no, this is home. In a weird way, right? There you are. And then I just keep on getting all these decent items. I do need to get a washboard though. I I do need to do that. Also need to open up the gates for these guys. Is there another one in here? Is there also No okay. Thought maybe that was where the syringe was. There's a dissecting microscope there. What does that have in it? A light bulb? Mm. Lenses? Yeah. Nothing like super essential, if you ask me. Okay. Good to know. But this right here, what you can also do is, I think you can... No effects. Okay. And then there's also treating wounds. Any wounds that need treating? Okay. Splinting wounds, nothing. Okay, yeah. So if I were to want to have the CBM, this one, installed, I don't. But I'm just gonna have a look-see at it. Um, hold on. Uh, oh yeah, I don't have the anesthetic. Um, on me, I think that we took it out of here and we put it somewhere else. I can't remember where. Yeah, but it, it would take some anesthetic and we need to do a couple of little dice rolls basically to see if we've got the skills to do it, which we really don't, but we could try. Okay, so we got all of that going pretty nicely for us actually. Um, 
The one other thing that I was hoping to do was maybe... I don't know. I'd check things out a little bit more about like what they have. Now that we can kind of see a little bit more. Yeah, it does kind of look like not really worth it. Okay, there's a the guy there. Hello. You can lure them honestly onto the spike trap again. Hello friend, why don't you come out here? Yep, you can step onto that. And your friend did not step on it, dang. Okay. But as you can see, Bootsy's got a pretty solid strategy. There we go, that one stepped on, on the trap. Good. And then this one's gonna dodge the trap, unfortunately. No, you didn't. Haha. <laughs> Take that. If you wanna come over here, guys, I've got a pretty nice trap for you down here. <laughs> I haven't tried multiple zombies at once, though. So. I think that there's two of them in there now. <laughs> cool. Cool beans. We'll just let that go for a little bit longer. You know, the other possibility is that we kind of make things so possibly quiet and peaceful here that you, our character could uh, sleep. Very unlikely, but it is possible. Okay, uh, it looks like they both died there. Uh, caffeine pills, a steak knife. Okay, one of them managed to bring a steak knife in here. That's concerning, definitely. <laughs> kind of funny. We got a lot of not great items. Is there another one that's... I thought there was another person that was, like, out here. No? Oh, there's some... There's a book? Yeah, it doesn't look like it's a particularly good book. Um... You know, actually, I haven't really looked at all the stuff that's around here anyways. Oh, hello. I could probably fight you, but again... I don't have ways of fighting off an infection, so that's not going to happen. <laughs> We're going to just read you to death. That's how you know you're a good teacher. <laughs> you can read people to death. Okay, yeah, now it's just getting like a giant pile. It's like comical. Alright, um. Are there batteries in here? I wanna say there was. Can we get a look in here? There's Hacksaw, Volt, Cotter's Clump, yeah. No. Nothing as nefarious as I thought. Is that guy gonna come out? No. Or no. Be like stuck or something? Oh. Oop. Where did that come from? Oh, down south. Oh hello. Actually, hold on. See we gotta we gotta be on our toes. There's a couple of them around here. There we go. That one, I think, I may be, yeah, I don't want to risk it. Not worth it. I thought I, I was going to do it at the end, to end the episode, but it really is not worth risking infection. <laughs> we'll just get our survival up a little bit higher and lure them into our traps. <laughs> it's the way to do it. It's the way you, you live. In, the, in a lab. And we are actually very hungry now, so... Yeah, we are gonna have to eat ourselves eventually. 
Ooh, another screwdriver. It's kind of funny. Got all the stuff that you could possibly need, honestly, from this one location. For, like, starting, you know? I honestly am just curious about what is um, in the left, this area here. Oh, there's, there's another cop one. It's locked. I don't have a lockpick, do I? I do not. Okay. Oh, wow. There's three of them. Hello. Good to see you, gentlemen. I don't know if they're going to be able to take that, that, uh, it out. Can I look up here? I can. If I go up here, what can I see? Is that an infirmary? Is that what I think it is? The shower, actually, no. It's not an infirmary. That was like the infirmary beds. Oh, look, hello. Where are you? Let's see, can I... Ah, this is gonna be annoying, huh? Okay, there we go. Got around him. Alright, these dudes did not manage to magically teleport through the walls, so we're okay. Um, but this guy needs to go. There we go, he's, he's on the trap. Um, but not... <laughs> Probably not gonna go down from that, honestly. I'm just curious, um, I'm trying to see like how many more enemies I really have around here. Because it's, uh, it's getting to the point where I think that we've basically taken control of this, this area. You know, we haven't really, but we're, we've gotten a lot of progress. Yeah, all these doors are locked, as you would expect, right? Yeah. Really zombie. Can't catch me. Maybe he can. He's actually catching up to me. Um, I'm gonna end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.